What's up guys, Jacob Owens here from the Buff Nerds and today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the ultimate travel camera. So as many of you may or may not know, I have the Canon 1DX Mark II. Now in my opinion, this is the ultimate travel photography and videography, filmmaking, whatever camera. And so now I'm gonna get into breaking down the why I bought this camera and then all the features that make it the ultimate camera so you don't need any other camera out there. All right, so firstly, before I owned the 1DX Mark II, I owned the Sony a7S II and a 5D. Uh, Mark III. Now the reason for this was I used the Sony a7S II for video and then I used the 5D Mark III for photos. No matter where I was, whether I was in Hawaii, skiing down a mountain, in the Bahamas, wherever I was going, I was finding myself shooting video on the Sony a7S II and then having to kind of break it down, swap the lens, pull the 5D out of my bag, you know, swap a lens and take pictures of that same moment, then stop, put it all back, pull the Sony back out, and there was just a lot of wasted time. You have to be ready at all moments to capture a moment. And if you're spending a couple minutes breaking down the camera to switch to take some photos, to put it back, to then get video, that's just a lot of wasted time. And when you're traveling, you just wanna be able to enjoy, you know, not only your travels, but capture them in an instant. So I was like, all right, this has to change. I can't be switching cameras, switching lenses, doing video on one camera, photos on another. It just got to be a pain and too much of a hassle. So that's when I picked up this baby right here. Now this thing is the ultimate beast for photo and video. And the reason I got it is for that reason and for traveling. So when I'm traveling, I can be snapping pictures and then flip this switch and get video the next second. That's how simple it was. Literally take pictures, Flip the switch, video, back and forth, that's it. There was no taking the camera out of bag, putting another one back, swapping lenses, to putting it on the glide camera. It's just, there was none of that. So it was just me and this camera and no more wasted time, no more wasted moments. And it just made traveling more fun and enjoyable. Now, three of the biggest benefits to this camera and why it's so great for travel are these three things. One, battery life. When you're traveling around and you're in remote places or locations, Battery life, as you know, on a lot of cameras like the Sony a7S, Sony a7R, uh, are just really poor. Um, and you don't want to be like trying to switch batteries and charge batteries and change them on the go. This camera battery pretty much lasts all day. I have two of these batteries and never once when I've been out traveling, um, you know, around wherever I might have I needed more than those two batteries. So that's a huge benefit to this camera right off the bat. Number two, and probably my most favorite, is the autofocus for video on this guy is incredible. It's touch screen on the back, so I could have this camera sitting on my glide cam. I could be wide open at a 2 way on my lens. I could touch the face of whoever I'm tracking or filming, and it just tracks them wherever I go. I fly in and out with the glide cam, and it stays right on their face, tracking them, pulling focus automatically for me. That's huge when you're traveling or just in general when you're filming anything. To have the autofocus capability on video that this camera has is just immense and so perfect. Especially if you love a gimbal or like a glide cam, to be able to have a low f-stop, open wide up, and then track autofocus by just touching an area on the camera's LCD screen is huge. And then the third reason are the video capabilities. You can shoot up to 4K 60 frames a second, which is massive and super huge, but you can also do 120 frames at 1080, and that 120 frames is so slow, so good, and it feels like 4K, it's super crisp. Sometimes when you have frame rates that are like 120, um, and you have these high frame rates, sometimes the footage is kinda, it's not very sharp, it's not very clean, but this 120 frames, 1080p, is very, very sharp, very, very clean. I have a few travel videos where you can see a bunch of this footage. I'll make sure to link that in the description or somewhere on the screen. We also just released a futuristic music video where we are in Kauai, and the whole video was shot on this camera. The video was futuristic video, what more could I ask for? So go check that out, shot entirely on this camera right here. And I guess the last added little benefit bonus um, is photography for this thing. Pictures are amazing, but the shutter, uh, 14 frames a second. It's like a machine gun. So you're definitely not gonna miss like any moments, especially any action shots. Um, this thing is a monster of a camera, for, again, for both photo and video. 
and it would be my ultimate travel camera recommendation for you guys. Now the price is very steep, so this is a very professional camera in the sense of if you have $6,000 to blow, then I would recommend this. If you don't, um, you know, obviously I wouldn't recommend this camera and this camera is not for you, but if you're looking for an all-in-one camera, this is it and it's worth the money in my opinion. Because if you're gonna have two cameras like I did, the Sony a7S Mark II and a 5D, Honestly, between those two cameras, that price point for those two cameras equals this, if not greater. I think the Sony a7S II is three grand, uh, the 5D was probably three grand, so between those two cameras, that's $6,000 at least. This camera is $6,000, so it just makes sense if you want both photo and video and it's important to you that you would just get a camera like this. I've loved it, I've never regretted getting it, and it is my probably favorite camera to date besides the red dragon which i'm filming on right now all right guys that's all i have to say about this camera if you have any questions about this camera or just cameras in general please leave a comment below i will answer your questions as best as i can buying a camera can be a scary thing so i want to help you guys and guide you in any way possible so drop a comment drop a like uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and that's all i have for you guys today Hopefully this video helped you and I will see you the next time I see you. Buff Nerds, out.